Talk to me nice Talk to me honestly Look in my eyes Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you, I am showing you how I put together this amazing system. We are full-time living in an RV. This is small space toy organization. I just absolutely love the way that it turned out. If you're new here, subscribe, hit that little bell. I'll be linking everything I can find for you guys. Come follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. And let's get into the video. All right, you guys, here is all of our stuff that is crammed in here right now. You've seen me reorganize this before. I believe it was my COVID-19 preparation video. So if you guys wanna see that, I think that was the one. I'll try to link it in the eye above. But basically this is where we house all of my kids' toys. This is the sensory play area. And then I have my first aid kit. I have an entire video on this. I'll link for you guys as well. It's a really good one. I need to probably refill that as well. But I'm gonna be taking all of this out today and I'm going to be reorganizing everything into a new system. It's been really hard for me since I moved out of a house into here to decide what system works the best. And I always say, if something's not working, throw it out. This system is not working for me anymore. So we are switching everything up. I'm gonna start pulling, pulling everything out. I'm gonna show you what we're working with, show you what we're purging, going through everything with you here today. So let's do it. All right, I just pulled this bin out. My kids are in trouble. <laughs> so they're basically just shoving stuff back here. And this is why the system's not working because everything gets buried in that giant toy bin. I have no real organization. And so this needs to be handled. And it's kind of weird. There's a side here that you can't access as easy. Get down, bud. And then, so then I have like first aid stuff here and it's just, yeah. So I wanted to give you guys a peek in here as well and show you what I'm doing. And this goes all the way back, you guys. So it's definitely hard to organize. The other side's a little bit organized. I have like my beach and other stuff back there. So we're only doing this like front half. We have our like umbrella, all those things. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I just wanna show you why the system is not working. Okay, I am putting containers in here. I'm gonna stack one more up here. I'm missing a couple lids. We're trying to find those right now, but I'm just kind of sizing everything up. One more will fit in here, but I'll have to slide the bottom one out, which I think I'm, I'm okay with that. I'd rather not have a lot of room anyways. And then these three fit here. I have some little ones that I'm gonna stick in the back. I, I wanna be able to fit my first aid kit right here. Let me show you guys what I've got going on right now. So it is kind of wild. Basically, this is all the kids' toys. I know it looks like a lot, but I have some art stuff right here. There's an empty container. This is all first aid stuff. You guys know I do a lot of kits and everything. Um, and that is also some kid toys over there. But that's basically all they have in the entire RV. They don't have a lot of toys in their room except for like stuffed animals. So each, I have four of these larger bins here. These are from Target. And we're going to start sticking toys in here. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna probably bend these so they can fit in here. We'll figure that out. Um, also, I wanted to tell you, these are the best covers. I got these off of Amazon for the table. Love them so, so much. Um, but anyways, we're gonna take all the toys and divide them into four days. Whatever's left over, it's either gonna be art or school stuff. Anything else, we're getting rid of that doesn't fit in here, unless it's important. We'll see. But for the most part, I want all of their toys to fit into four days worth of toys. Each one of these bins is a day. We do a four day week for school and then we have a three day weekend, which one of the days we use for prepping and getting all of our stuff together. But we're gonna have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that way too, obviously maybe one day we won't use one, there'll still be an extra one for over the weekend or whatever. And then I'll still have a couple extra boxes we can play um, have like games and art stuff for the weekend. But I just wanted to show you what we're doing. Jade's organizing some of her stuff and getting rid of things. We are purging right now as well. Hey guys, I wanted to do a little progress. So I am not gonna keep these things. I did a video on this and it got smashed because people were stuffing things in here, but it's okay. I'm actually putting them in another container coming very soon. I'll be redoing my, well, adding stuff to this one and putting a backup system back here and then adding one to my car. So I'll show you guys all of that soon. And then I have these three bins that fit absolutely perfectly. I'm actually gonna get three more of these. I'm gonna go back to Target, but I have our bubble stuff in here, our bubble machine. We have my daughter's stuff here. And then we have our sensory sand, our 
kinetic sand in here. And then I'm gonna get three more because we need one for Play-Doh. I'm gonna put my paint and, and then, um, I forgot what I was putting on the other one. But anyways, I need three more. Those will go behind here. I kind of just stuck this stuff here for now. So it is looking so much better. I'm feeling really good. And I'm gonna label these with my Cricut as well. Okay, so we have gotten rid of, this is all garbage. This is garbage as well. And we have a bag of toys somewhere we're getting rid of. This is what we've got going on on the table. This is the last pile that we are going through. And then we have our Legos here. I'm returning some of these bins. I don't think I'm using all of them. So sensory bin, I'm gonna, um, my son just cleaned out. Hey, dry that out for me, buddy. I gotta dry that out. But yes, we are definitely making progress. And I'm gonna be closing these up cause I'm gonna be adding like different coloring stuff and learning books um, into these bins and whatever rest of the toys that I wanna stick in there. This is all ready to go. I, I've shown you guys this before, and then I have a bunch of stuff they can play with these things. I have a mat that I like to put down. One of their sand toys came with this little, it almost looks like a little mini pool that they can play with it in, but I bought something from the Dollar Tree instead. I'll show it to you. So I bought these, they are oil pans from the Dollar Tree and these are awesome you guys for sensory play. Okay, I also do a little water bin for them, a little water sensory activity with these little boats and they can do the little cups. I kind of grab that little, I grab that container and they can play with all of those things with whatever sensory thing we're doing for the day. So if we do water, I take this. I'm probably gonna stick these in the car. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I don't think they have these anymore, but just in case we go to the beach or something unexpectedly, I wanted to have these in stock. So I just stuck them in here for now. Okay, so I am sticking this in the back right-hand corner. I just wanted to show you guys. So these three items, I'm actually transferring to these containers. I still have to go get those, but you guys will get the idea. All right, so this is gonna go right there, all the way to the wall. So that way those other bins can fit right here, which will be perfect. This is actually my son's I'm gonna stick this on top of there. This is actually my oldest son's Nerf guns. I'm probably gonna get another one of these containers to stack right here just cause they fit so perfectly. They do stack, which is really nice. I may switch out another container. So it'll be like two of those stack there, three of those other things there. It'll fit perfectly like Tetris. I'm putting these from heaviest to lightest right here in the front guys here is my progress let me scoot back so i can show you guys i am so happy with the way that it's looking right now i kind of moved things around because these wouldn't fit there's like a tube or something up there so everything fit better here i stuck the kids lego things here i still have to stick things in here i have brand new toys that i'm sticking in here so i'm not going to show you guys what i have in here until the end of the video but everything is now done Oh my gosh right all that was crazy but now i've cleared it all we've purged everything we needed to purge literally all their toys for the entire rv is right here i do have my daughter has one little thing i showed you guys the sensory but i stuck her little dollhouse she still plays with that i have not decided I, like i said i'm still getting three more of these where that is going to go yet i just kind of stuck that there but i do like the way that this is looking it's going to be super easy to grab for each day and go Talk to me nice. just start showing you everything that I have inside to give you a good idea. I've done a video like this in the past where I actually had more space when I lived in a house. You guys know I live in an RV right now, but I listed all of the components that I like to go off of to have inside of each bin. So if you want to reference back to that one, I don't have as many of those types of things in each bin because this is a lot of a smaller space, but this is it. This is all the toys they have, but this should give you a really good idea in a smaller space what we can put inside of here. So I like having art. So we have these mess free markers. They have different sheets in here. This is a fun activity they can do. And I like putting art things inside of the bins that they aren't going to wreck my house with. So this is definitely a good option. I always try to have some type of like 
building or puzzle type of thing. They love these magnetic tiles. Then I like to do some type of like imaginary play where they have to use their imagination. So we have these little ice creams and they actually came in like this giant thing, but I broke it down and put it inside of this container just so it takes up less space and she was fine with it. And then I love having a couple things of dress up. And then I got these little cars from the Target dollar spot. There's three of them so they can play with their magnetic thing. And then I just put this little unicorn in here and anything that they don't end up playing with, I'm just going to get rid of because this is it. Whatever doesn't fit in here, this is all the toys we have. We buy more, we're going to exchange it out. Okay, so next up in this bin, the art that we have is this, we got these from the Dollar Tree. They're these paint with water. So all you need is a brush. I actually have to put the brushes in here. I'm gonna put two plastic cups as well. And then this is something super easy, not messy at all that they can do on their own. And they've done it before, so it'll be easy for them. Then for imaginary play, we have some food. We have these little food things here. And then I also got these from the dollar store. I do a bunch of dollar store hauls if you guys are new here. And I find some really good things, but we got them these little dolls they can play with. Both of my daughters can play with those together. I got this from the dollar store as well. It's something that you can build. I like, like I said, I want something they can build in each bin. And then they just have, my son has some like figurines so he can play with those while my daughters are playing with the dolls. Next up, I have two art things in this one because this one is just like a one-time thing. I'll do this with them. I just want to put it in there so we can remember to use it. But in this one, we have the silly markers that are scented and I have two coloring books for them. You know, I'm probably going to put two more coloring books so they can all do it together. This is more for my toddlers, but the big kids do play with them as well. And they also go out and ride their bikes and stuff. So anyways, um, I have like a giant figurine for my son and then my daughter, my baby, she has this little learning dog. And then the boys have some track and some Hot Wheels. And then for imaginary play in this one, and I can consider this a little bit of building as well, and this as well, um, I got these from the Dollar Tree and I put them in here, but they're these little figurines that are supposed to be for the garden. But I got them so they can set up a little village and play with them. I thought they would have so much fun doing that. So I just put them all in here. And then I have these ones for the girls. They have the Ferris wheel, the donut shop, and then there's a bunch of little figurines in here. I, there's also like little unicorns and stuff at the bottom. This is going to be hard to take out, but let's see if I can find one. Oh, there they are. See, there's a little unicorn right there. But anyways, that is for them. Last one. So this is a giant mat. Let me open this up and I will be linking everything down below for you guys. But what's really cool about this is there are pens you fill up with water and then you can doodle on this. The kids love this thing. Let me show you where this is kind of what the markers look like let me see oh here we go here's another one and then they can draw on it which is really cool okay then they have a couple little figurines in here i'm probably going to add some more figurines for my son i'm noticing that he doesn't have as many in here oh i know what i can do play with this guy this guy didn't have a home okay so he also has this oh target thing right here that he sets up and then he shoots Nerf guns with. I have to actually buy some more um, Nerf bullets. I'm actually missing those. But I got this container from the Dollar Tree. And what I put in here are these little kitty houses. I put three sets in here. It comes with a little kitty house, a bed, and where is it? It comes with a little brush, if you can see it right there, and something else, I think. But it comes with, I think, two little pets for each one. So there's six little pets in here. And I put them in these drawers she can set them up and play with them. I thought that would be fun for her to do. Okay, so in this one, this is a flower building set. Let me just show you how it works really quick. But you can build an entire garden. It's kind of like a puzzle and building stuff. You put one of these guys in here, and then you put this on top, and then there's another piece that goes here. But basically, you'll have a whole little garden built, and my daughter loves this thing. So next up we have, these are our Go Toys. These are in the back on top of Roman's bin. I'll show you where this goes in a second. But anyways, I have all of our travel toys, things that I'm rotating out for road trips. For example, we have 
all of our, I've shown you guys this before in Amazon favorites. These are, these are sensory toys and it comes in this huge pack. And then I just switch these out into their little restaurant bags and different things like that, or in their road trip bags. And then I have a bunch of these. I need to replenish these actually. They're little building kits I get from the Dollar Tree. I stick those in there. And then I have some on the go games. We have a little Jenga game. Then I have this little cat house type of deal that my that I got from the Dollar Tree that my daughter plays with. Then we have some like different like magnetic toys. We have checkers and just things like that. Just basically glow sticks, stuff that I'm rotating out like I said. And then I put it all in here so I know where everything's at and I can just grab and switch things out of our bags as we go. All right, so these been stacked. Those are getting pushed in the back. This is Roman's like Nerf guns and stuff. He doesn't have a lot of toys, so that's all he has in there. And then these are the go toys underneath that. So I will be pushing that in the back. All right, so those go right there. Like I said, I'm replacing those bins with more of these ones. So it'll look more uniform later on, but I just, I didn't pick up enough, so. But I like the way this is looking. Everything's super organized. I know where everything is at. Okay, so I wanna show you guys what's going on on the side here. I'm gonna get a container. I want this to look nicer, but it's fine for now. I have our first aid stuff right here. This is my Dollar Tree one. I'm getting ready to condense and make like one big kit very soon, but I like having this. So if I want to take it with me or whatever, it's right here, ready to go. Those are the bins for Roman and the Go Toys. So in our bubble bin, we just have bubble wands and then we have these little guys. And then I usually have like four bubbles things, but they're actually in all of our bags right now because the weather's really nice. So we like having those in our adventure bag and our diaper bag. Then we have our bubble machine. And then I also like to keep chalk in here. Next up, this is JD's bin. This is just all of her personal items. This is all she has guys for toys. That's it. This is all she has personally. And she keeps these all nice and neat and I tell her whatever fits in here you can have if it doesn't fit we just don't have the space for it so it's fine you guys we are doing so many adventures my kids don't need a lot of toys we're outside like let me show you guys right now where we're at it is absolutely beautiful here so this is this is what we do they're begging to come outside right now so they're gonna come ride bikes and we just we live our life toys are secondary all right in our sand bin this is our kinetic sand and i just have all of their like utensils and things that they use to play with it this is a set i'll leave that for you guys down below and then it comes with some sand not this much i've actually purchased extra sand so i just keep that all in there but this is one of their favorite things to play with what i wanted to show you guys is i have an extra large thing of bubbles and then we have their sensory play. And if you guys are wondering why the letters are so big, we have kids that are learning how to read. But I was like, you know what? This is gonna be so perfect while they're learning right now for letters and alphabet and identifying everything. So I will definitely switch these out, just kind of playing with it and learning how to use it for the first time. So it's totally fine though. I don't mind it at all. And here is our sensory play bin. This is the only thing I showed you guys that she has my youngest daughter that's big but she absolutely loves it and plays with it all the time so i let her keep that this was stuck in the sensory play but this goes on the top of these things here Oops. um it goes on the top of their little aprons and stuff this is actually one of those parachutes that you play with when you're a kid i got it from target if i can find it i will link it for you guys it's with the summer stuff anyways it's the parachute thing that you have at school it's like the big round colorful thing that looks like a parachute and the air gets trapped underneath it. It's so cool. So on top here, I have, I showed you guys this earlier, um, their little oil can things from Dollar Tree for their sensory play, which is so nice to keep everything trapped. And they're quite big, so they have their own space. Okay, here is the sensory bin, all nice and organized. I have two of these containers each, so each kid can dump one out. I got them from the Dollar Tree and then I have all of their supplies. I pull their supply box out and they share that. Then I have a little mat that goes underneath and it's just so nice having everything ready to go and accessible. Oh, here is the front of that first aid kit. Oh, I wanted to show you guys too. I'm getting ready to add this little guy to the top. I'm gonna E6000 that on top of there. I don't know, would it look up here? No, there's writing right there. I don't think that'll look good. Maybe. Should I just do it? I don't know. I'm either going to put it there or at the top right here. All right, you 
guys i hope you enjoyed this video i had so much fun putting it together for you like i said everything will be listed for you down below if you've made it all the way to the end of this video thank you so much it truly means the world to me when you watch my video all the way through leave me some sort of travel vehicle emoji a bus a plane whatever you can find down there and let me know that you did come say hi to me on instagram and if you haven't done so don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time i'm always your girl Lana marie Mwah. bye Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love